In this video, let's see a numerical problem based on the topic of types of matrices. We have already seen various types of matrices in the previous videos. Those were like row matrix, column matrix, triangular matrices, scalar matrices, diagonal matrices and so on many more. In this video, we are basically seeing a numerical problem which is just like a matchup problem for the type of matrices. Let's see what the question has to say and let's get started with the solution. The question reads as follows. State the type of matrices for the following. That means I need to basically tell what type of matrix is the part 1, then the part 2, then the part 3 and then the fourth and the last part. There are some options given to me from which I have to choose those options are what? They are row matrix, identity matrix, upper triangular matrix and column matrix. Now, let's see the option number one, row matrix. And now let's see the questions. Or the other way around can be first you see the questions and then choose which option of these is correct. Let's see the first part. The first part reads as 1, 0, 0, 1. What is the order of this matrix? The order of this matrix is because of two rows and two columns, it is 2 by 2. I also know that there is unity in the diagonal elements. Do you see the diagonal elements? They are 1 and 1. They are equal and they are equal to unity. And what about the non-diagonal elements? The non-diagonal elements are both zeros. And this definition was of unit matrix or identity matrix which we have already studied in the previous videos. So this type of matrix is basically what? It is I2 that is it is identity matrix of the order 2. So it is I2 identity matrix of the order 2 and let's see where is identity matrix? Identity matrix out of these four options is option number B. So I can match this up with option number B and for the first answer I will be writing later as B. Let's see the second part now. The second part is 5, 3, 9, only three elements and these three elements are horizontally placed. That means in one row only. One row means what? There are three columns that is more than one columns but only one row. When restriction or condition is on the row it is a type of row matrix. So this example of part number 2 which is one row and three columns so the order is 1 by 3 is an example of what? It is an example of row matrix. Let's see which option is row matrix. Row matrix out of these four options is option number A. So we basically join this to option number A and later on we will be writing the answer as option number A. Let's move to the third part. The third part is a single vertical column. It is 8, 3, 5. What is the order of this matrix? 3 rows and 1 column. So it is 3 by 1. And how many columns? Only 1. The restriction is not there on rows but only on the column. The column can be only 1. So it is basically a column matrix. Now let's see which option is column matrix. Out of the four options A, B, C, D, D option is column matrix. So I join this by D. And in the answer later I will be writing D. Last but not the least we are left with the fourth part. The fourth part consists of four elements 3, 6, 0 and 5. Can we specify something about the diagonal? Yes, the diagonal is 3 and 5. It is made up of 3 and 5. And what about the element below the diagonal? The diagonals below is an element 0. Now in which matrix the case happens that below diagonal we have zeros? It is an upper triangular matrix which we have already seen in the previous videos. So let's see which option satisfies upper triangular matrix. It is option number C. So fourth part's answer is option number C. Now let's be writing down the answers one by one. I have four parts. 1, 2, 3, 4, I have joined these parts by matchup lines. So part number 1 answer was B. I write here B. 
part number 2 answer was what let's see part number 2 was row matrix which was a so i write here a part number 3 was what it was a single column you see here 835 is there and 835 is what a single column which is nothing but as the column matrix and the left over was upper triangular matrix which was part c again let's revise quickly that yes part number 1 was what part number 1 was a identity matrix part number 2 was a row matrix the third part single column so a column matrix and the fourth part was upper triangular matrix.